What is going on, XRP Army? A, an appeal was filed by the SEC. That leads us to what happens next on XRP. And we're going to talk about that. In fact, I'm not really concerned because if you followed me and you watched my videos from last night, then you will know where we are right now made perfect sense. What we're doing right now makes perfect sense and we will get a strong bounce off of it. Now, if you like this type of content, you know the drill. Make sure you hit the like button down below. Let's kick it off and uh, let's keep this very, very simple today. First, Jeremy Hogan, an attorney, uh, these are his initial thoughts on the SEC appeal. And there are very important things that go into this. Number one, big mistake by the SEC. It will appeal the programmatic sales ruling. And if it wins, it will get more money from Ripple uh, and have protected nobody. Uh, Ripple will raise its blue sky law issue. And if it wins, the SEC's ability to regulate the entire crypto space will essentially be destroyed. Not a good calculation of risk by the SEC. Uh, number two, this is an appeal by right. The judge can't reject the appeal. And number three, uh, the SEC is very, very likely to lose both statistically and based on the fact-heavy way the judge wrote her opinion. Again, this was a very fact-heavy. Judge Torres put a lot of effort into making sure that everybody understood the ruling, the whys, the where to force, everything that you needed to know. This was very descript. Number four, even if the SEC were to quote unquote win on appeal, it's very, very likely just a matter of money. Nothing would change as to XRP and its use by Ripple. Nothing changes from this. And as a matter of fact, if you go back and you look, this is the August 7 ruling. So generally this is about the amount of money that Ripple is paying at $125 million in a penalty because there's no disgorgement. You guys can 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 go back here and check it out. There's no disgorgement, um, which is what the SEC generally likes to do. And then they try to set up a fund. And if you don't claim it, they just put it in their coffers. And ha, 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 ha. that's how we fund our business. So this is just a cash grab by the SEC. And this is probably why Gerbeer Grewal uh, quit yesterday and said, I am no longer part of this. Okay, just remember that. Number five, a ruling from the appellate court won't happen until late 2025, early 2026. I posted it would take until summer 2025 a couple months ago. I was wrong about that, sorry. So it's gonna take at least six months before this even comes up. So uh, number six, I refuse to believe that the attorney general announcing he's leaving the SEC the same day the appeal is filed is just a chance, but I'm kooky like that. This is exactly what I've been telling you guys. This is absolutely bonkers uh, to the point that 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 Gary Gensler just alienated one of his best enforcement officers uh, with his nonsense filing here. And then the only hope of this all being over soon is if there's new leadership at the SEC. If Trump becomes president again, I will humbly accept the role as director of enforcement. Uh, and by the way, it, it doesn't matter from, from this point. And by the way, this is just my opinion based on what Mark Cuban said. Um, and he said that uh, if no matter what, Gary Gensler's gone. If Kamala wins, Gary's gone. If Trump wins, Gary's gone. No matter what, there's going to be a change in leadership and most likely they will stop any enforcement actions that are happening here. They'll withdraw their appeal and this will be settled science, if you will, and they will be done. Now let's look at the price uh, action and I'll tell you why I was right. All right, yesterday when we talked about this, what I said was, and I did a live stream. If you haven't watched it, you can go watch it. Uh, but I said that, you know, the most likely scenario is a play down to this green line, this this trend line that's been establishing uh, a, an inflection point here for a breakout because we were breaking out over here before the market started to dump at the beginning of October. Everybody felt October. Uh, everybody got a little too comfortable with October. Let's just put it that way. Now, what ended up happening here is we broke down into the golden zone, which we did again before and got a very very, very strong bounce off of it. Now, with that being the case, I would expect to see a slower bounce, uh, most likely a test here and then a test here and then a test here before coming out here, ranging a little bit in 57, 58 cent range before a breakout up into these next levels. That's what I would say. And the reason for that is because first of all, People look at this slowly and they'll be like, mm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here with this SEC ruling. Then they'll start to see, you know, exactly what it is. Then we'll get to the election. When the election is over, we'll have some clarity. Uh, the election being over having clarity puts us at this position right here. And that's when we start to see it a little sideways and then boom. And then it's going to start taking off again because, look, this is... There's very little chance that this goes through, okay? that That's really what it comes down to. And if it does, it's merely a financial penalty. And by the way, I think they're gonna use statements by Gary Gensler. Gary Gensler made 
statements publicly saying that he was happy with the ruling. So uh, if that is the case, then it's not a good look to find out if you're an, if you're a, a government entity. It's never a good look for the people to find out that the person leading you is a liar and a deceptive person. And what Gary Gensler is doing right now is proving that he's a liar and deceptive person in what he's saying to you, which is he's happy with the decision, but he's also going to appeal. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Won't take up much of your time. Thank you so much for tuning in. XRP is going to absolutely break out. I told you guys before, $25 XRP, it's coming and it's coming a lot sooner than you think. Um, uh, so we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit. You will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000. All right, folks, we're going for six months this time, 29.6 APY. Contract has been created. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start earning.